Hi mom and five friends on Facebook. You know how you can tell the painting is really famous? That you just have to do one gesture and everybody knows which one you are talking about. So have a guess. Screaming man. Yes! Edward Munch, der Schrei. Yeah. Name? Scream. And author? Edward Munch. I love this painting because everybody does. And it's fascinating because people always complain about Picasso or Rothko or any other modern artist. But when you show them the scream, a very simple painting, no one goes, I could do that. People love it and that's why I love it too. Edvard Munch, the author, was a very skilled artist. He could paint a realistic painting, but he chose not to because he developed his style which was about emotions and for them details are irrelevant. So yeah, let's do it. Let's paint the scream. Munch was the prototype of a happy, successful painter. He died in Oslo when he was 80 in his massive estate with several studio buildings. He was accepted and celebrated as the best Norwegian painter. What a great life! What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean early life? What? His mother died when he was 5? At 14 his sister died? Then his younger sister was admitted to mental hospital, then his father died. So Munch became an alcoholic and ended up also several times in mental hospital? Well, I guess it's true. Every cloud really has a silver lining. Thanks to this horrific experience, at least we got the scream. So that's like a success, I guess. Thank you, Munch's family. There are over 50 versions of this painting. Painting in different medium techniques in span of 20 years, I will be recreating the one, the first publicly shown version. And this one was actually stolen in 1994 from the National Gallery in Oslo. And how did they do such a sophisticated crime, you may ask? Was it you, Sean Connery? You handsome Scotsman, rest in peace. Did you hire Catherine Zeta Jones to dodge the lasers? No. It was actually done by two guys and a ladder. And the best part is, when the first guy was trying to climb the ladder, he actually fell down. And then only second guy was climbing up, broke the window, took the painting and they ran away. Just leaving on the floor a note for a gallery reading, thank you for poor security. This is how they stole one of the most famous paintings in the whole world. Norway, the land of Vikings. The Scream is a simple painting done by just few colors, that's why it's so important to put a proper background. And you can see it in the original, it seeps through the, through the strokes that there is this nice warm grayish, uh, grayish color. So I recreated it by titanium dioxide with a touch of black and burnt sienna to, get, to keep this grayish but also still have it a little bit warm. And uh, also what I did is that the painting itself the background, it feels very gritty, very grungy, very kind of dirty. So I wanted to recreate it. So what I did afterwards, I just layered one more layer of thin color. I tried to kind of dry brush it so you can see the strokes. And I just made the outlines of the main movements in the painting, just so if it seeps through, you can really feel the movement. And I think this, would, this could really help yeah, to put the painting together. Do you know that the scream, the name of the painting, doesn't refer to the character in the front? No, it is about something else. The original title is Der Schrei der Natur and it translates to the scream of the nature and it is exactly that. Because one day Munch was on the stroll on the fjord over Oslo and he could see behind him the sunset, the blood red sunset, which he could feel that is the nature screaming in agony and that is what is the painting about. This guy is just observing it. In order to get as close as possible to original, I have to be very careful because Munich with his painting, he utilized only few strokes. That means that I cannot repeat it. Whenever I do something, I cannot be layering it over and over. I have to do it the right the first. Please, can well, you shut up? You can hear me? I need to paint. Oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah, oh, my, oh my god, you're right. <gasps>
so the base is done. But the original painting is a mixed medium. There is oil, tempera, pastel, and they are all layered on the top of each other to create this dirty, grungy look. And now I will try to recreate it with dry brushing of acrylic. So hope, uh, yeah, let's hope we can get as close to original as possible. And now the moment we've been all waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, the screen. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this painting because I certainly did. It's one of my favorite. It's the most beautiful, ugly painting there is. It's a simple technique with a massive impact. And for all of you who say, well, I could do that. I say, but you didn't, but you can, and you should. Give painting a go, it's a great hobby. Now I can say, I did. So guys, again, thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of the horrific 2020. Bye-bye.